Hi, I'm John Bankson. I'm the author of the Buster Keaton location book, Silent Echoes, and I've also written books about Charlie Chaplin called Silent Traces, and my new book about Harold Lloyd is called Silent Visions. And uh, I've had the honor of taking John around and showing him the block of Cahuenga between Hollywood and Selma. Uh, it's a very rich uh, area for Hollywood, early Hollywood filming because Buster Keaton and Harold Lloyd both filmed in quite a number of scenes on this one block. Raymond Chandler uh, wrote the hard-boiled detective stories and his character's name was Philip Marlowe. And Philip Marlowe's office was supposed to be in this, uh, this building here on the corner of Hollywood and Cahuenga, right in the heart of Hollywood. It, the, this building also shows up briefly in modern times when uh, Charlie Chaplin is discharged from the uh, mental hospital, he's having a breakdown. He's had a breakdown and he's being let back into the real world. And they're trying to show visually how the modern world is cacophonous and loud and crazy. And so there's uh, this montage of fire trucks and spinning camera shots or whatever. And during that shot, they have this office building in the background as well. If we go around the corner, um, I'll show you where uh, Chaplin filmed something in uh, 1914 for Tilly's Punctured Romance. Building is, this building has been rebuilt. Like I said, I don't know if they uh, if they tore it down and built a new one or if they just modernized it. You can see there's uh, there's uh, terracotta tiles on the side. But in 1914, this was a, a bank building. And so in Tilly's Punctured Romance, Charlie Chaplin and Mabel Norman are standing right on this corner. Um, and they're looking around the corner and planning their next scheme, but it's literally this corner. The, the address, the building that says 6410 um, Hollywood Boulevard, you notice the, uh, the tile work and the, the little uh, square detailing in, in the center, over the center of the building that pops up. Um, that very clearly shows up in Tilly's Punctured Romance. Uh, Charlie Chaplin is trying to dodge a, a trolley car on Hollywood Boulevard and he falls over and Reed Dressler picks him up. Um, at the end of the movie, uh, Why Worry, um, Harold Lloyd rushes to tell his friend that he just had a baby boy. And that was also, that building is in the background uh, for that Harold Lloyd movie as well. Yeah, the detailing on the top of the roof is, is identical to that looked in 1914. If you look down the street, you see the marquee for the Taft building. On the, on the right side, you see the vertical sign that says Taft. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, the Taft building's on the corner of Hollywood and Vine. So in the cameraman, um, a fire truck goes around the corner of Hollywood Vine, and Buster Keaton rush it, jumps onto the uh, onto the fire truck. Well, that that was uh, at Hollywood and Vine when the when the fire truck was turning the corner. The uh, the other building on the corner of Hollywood and Vine was the old Broadway department store, and that's the department store where uh, Charlie Chaplin gets a job during modern times. And there's also a uh, a process shot when Chaplin is uh, riding in the back of the police paddy wagon. Um, there's a rear projection shot, but you see buildings projected on the, you know, behind them. And the footage that they used during that scene was while traveling from down Hollywood Boulevard from, from Vine to Cahuenga. So in the scene in the background, you can see the Broadway building. And when they stop to pick up Paulette Goddard, you can see the security bank building in the background. One reason why Buster filmed here so often was that his studio was only a few blocks away. In fact, Cahuenga was one of the streets that bordered his studio. Um, when, he, when he first started filming, when he, when he first had his own studio in 1920 and he first started filming, uh, there was a lemon warehouse across the street from his studio and Hollywood was still fairly uh, undeveloped. So this was one of the major uh, business streets that was close by. It wasn't like you could just go to block after block and choose to have buildings that you could uh, film in front of. Um, so for some reason, this particular block of Cahuenga, Keaton filmed, I think, eight or nine different uh, movies here. And Harold Lloyd filmed about five on this one block.
building, I, I think this building was built in like, 19, this corner building I think was built in like 1920. So at the time, it was, it was a major building because Hollywood Boulevard itself was still fairly undeveloped. You could go down a few blocks further west and there'd still be orchards um, and open fields. But it, it saved them from traveling all the way to downtown to get a more urban shot. I'll, I'll just show you real quick. So in, in Go West, in Go West, Buster walks with his cow down Kalinga. So there's a shot of him, you know, walking down the street with these buildings in the background. And this barbecue stand used to not be there. So this was just a small urban parking lot. So this, uh, this small parking lot is where Buster uh, leaves his cow. Um, you can see the address was 1622. You can see the 22 on the, on the stand there. And that's right, you can see 1622 here as well. The, uh, the building in the background was the Hollywood Transfer and Storage Company. It had, they used to have uh, lettering painted on the side of the, on the back of the building. And in some other Keaton films, you can barely see part of the lettering of Hollywood Transfer and Storage just in the upper part of the frame. Uh, in Harold Lloyd's movie, Safety Last, at the beginning of the film, um, he's late to work and he's trying to get a ride to work and he hitchhikes. He, uh, he hitches a ride with somebody uh, and they pull over around where that parking meter is. There used to be a fire plug and uh, the person who was giving Harold a ride ends up getting a ticket. Um, but where that uh, parking meter is where the fire plug was in front of the fire station. The, uh, the site of this office tower here used to be the site of the, the Hollywood uh, Fire and Police Station. And as you can imagine, having this uh, fire station was a convenient and popular place to film. So in The Cameraman, when Buster Keaton rides a fire truck back into the fire station, it was filmed right here. There's a, se there's a sequence in uh, Three Ages where Buster is, is arrested and he's taken to the police station and the police station was right here. He escapes by climbing up on the rooftops of several buildings. The police are chasing him. He jumps from one rooftop to another. He sort of falls off and ends up uh, spinning down a fire pole and landing in a police in a fire station. And the fire station was the same building right here. This building on the corner that now says the Hotel Cafe. Uh, this building there was built in around 1923. Keaton used to film next to the fire station a lot. There was an alley, there's an alleyway between where the fire station was and where the hotel cafe is. But when Keaton filmed here, it was just an empty lot. But he filmed along the side of the fire station uh, several times uh, because it was an alley but also had plenty of sunlight and they could put the camera back to get a good shot. So this alley here is where this alley right here is where Keaton filmed scenes for three different movies. And again, this would this would have been the side of the uh, fire fire station. Um, but again, it was a it was a nice little alley. Um, it was close to where his studio was. Um, and again, they were just you know little insert shots. They needed a shot of him running down an alley being chased up by the police. Uh, in the goat, he dives under a car. Uh, the car pulls away and the cops see him, so he grabs the end of the car and the car takes off and pulls him away. And that was filmed right here in this little alley. Uh, but he's filmed scenes for Neighbors and The Goat and Hard Luck, all in this little alley by the side of the fire station. These storefronts across the way all appear in the cameraman. There's a shot of Buster riding. He's, the camera and Buster are both uh, on the fire engine. And the fire engine comes up uh, Coenga and makes the left turn into the fire station. So as they make the turn, um, all of these buildings appear in the background and the parking lot. In fact, that's how I figured out where they filmed the, uh, 
that's why I figured out where the fire station when the, from the cameraman was, is that during the shot, you could tell there was a parking lot across the street from the fire station. And the fire station in uh, Hollywood had a parking lot across the street from it. So that was the first clue that proved that was the location. But then you could match up the building details as well. In the goat, Buster runs by a Japanese market. It was the Toribuchi Grocery. And that white uh, brick building, I think it says 1542. That, that is the building next to the Toribuchi Grocery. <laughs> so it's, it's about as obscure as you can get, but this building in the Buster seat, the, in the Keaton scene, is that white brick building. So this, this alley is called Cosmo, and it, uh, it runs from Hollywood Boulevard to Selma. And Buster filmed uh, two different scenes from Cops along this alleyway. Uh, in Cops, Buster has a, a wagon load of furniture that he thinks he's purchased. Um, he comes down this alley, and he, makes a, he signals a left turn, and there's a dog on the back of a flatbed truck that bites his hand. And so the scene where Buster's hand is bitten is filmed right here while the wagon is turning uh, from Cosmo onto Selma. And you can see those, the, uh, what is now the, the lofts, that was the storage building. And you can see that very clearly in the back of the shot. Right, but this is where Buster gets his hand bitten by the dog. So I just explained that in Cops, Buster's, Buster's hand was bitten by a dog while making the turn. So Buster's solution is to put a boxing glove on a towel rack and to use that as a turn indicator. And the scene where the wagon is slowly traveling along while he's putting on the turn indicator is while Buster was traveling along Cosmo. There's a building in the background. You can tell that it was being, it was under construction at the time. It's, the building's not completed, but it, at the end of the alley on the right, that's the Palmer Building, and that's where uh, that housed one of the Hollywood uh, local newspapers. So again, this is uh, when Buster's uh, fixing his turn indicators coming down this alley, and up ahead, the alley cuts to the left, so the, the alley where Buster is chased by the police in that other shot from Cops, where he grabs the car and it pulls him out of frame, uh, that alley connects into this alley. So there, it's an L-shaped configuration. But you can see having alleys like this is a very handy place to film because there isn't as much traffic, it's quieter, and you're not disturbed. And again, it was just a few blocks from the studio. So it was like the perfect place to film. So this is the view Buster saw when he was being chased by all the police. And the building on our left is original, and the building on the, our right, um, the alleyway is a little bit narrower because when they put in the, uh, the streamlined modern building on the corner, it was just a little bit bigger, so the alley is a little bit narrower. But again, you see the, the, uh, the detail work above the windows on the Palmer building. As I mentioned, you can see during that shot from Pops, you can see the building under construction. Uh, in the background during the shot. And it's kind of fun to imagine running. It's fun to imagine there's a camera pointing right at you and you're running through there and getting yourself psyched up because you know you're going to have to grab this car and it's going to yank your arm out of your shoulder. Uh, that was filmed right here.